Well, what are we fixing today? I know. Been a little minute. Um, wanted to kind of tell you where I'm at and what's been going on. So, you know, five years ago when I started this in the beginning of 2020, um, I was having a lot of fun. I had a lot, you know, did videos. I did stuff. I recorded it. You know, editing's a drag, but it's, it is, a, it is what it is. You know, editing is editing. <laughs> Any of you that do YouTubes at all know what editing is all about. Anyway, got through all that and it was all going fine. Then about two years ago, I had a little setback. Something happened that was disappointing. Not going to go into it. And it's that kind of faded away from making videos. It was like, uh... So, you know, I made one or two here and there, recorded a few things, still did stuff all the time. I just didn't record all of it. I got a couple things in the can, which aren't very good. Uh, I might edit them and send them up. But that aside, I spent most of my time helping people directly on Discord and the Home Assistant forums. I, you know, my Discord, Dr. Z's Discord, Home Assistant Discord, and the Home Assistant forum. Spent a lot of time on there answering questions. I also wrote a whole library of blueprints in that time. Um, and you can see them down in the description and stuff. And then I wrote a few uh, custom templates, macros, to do stuff like help you with color and availability and logic, true, false, stuff, basic stuff. A lot of that was to, you know, for me to learn I didn't know much about, I didn't know enough about templates, let's just say. But anyway, that's what I've been kind of doing in between here. And uh, <clears throat> what you might not have known is, since I retired five years ago, I was full-time nurse for my daughter. She, um, she had muscular dystrophy, uh, spinal muscular dystrophy, SMA version. Um... She was also hit by a bus. Uh, she had seizure disorder and her leg amputated from that. That was when she was 14. Um, she uh, had a bunch of other medical complications, some of them related to her disease, some of it not. But she's been having a hard time recently. Um, she, uh, she was my constant companion. And I was hers. I was nurse to her for, like, every day, almost constantly. I mean, you know, did I did meds. I did cares. Uh, Mom also did some cares um, and stuff. But I was kind of the primary. Um, about on January 14th, uh, she lost her battle. And... I lost her. So, <clears throat> I'm going to have a lot more time on my hands. Uh, I think I'm going to spend some more time doing videos and stuff. Because there's this gigantic hole in my life. Uh, we haven't had the funeral yet. That's coming in the beginning of February. So, um... Uh, what can you do? She's my, uh, she's my, she's the third kid that we, <coughs> we lost. Uh, one other due to a car accident, another one due to a mysterious something when he was 23. He was at home and he died at home. Uh, my daughter passed away, uh, sleeping and she was not. And then the duress, she wasn't in the hospital, any of that stuff. So that's good, but I'm still learning how to say goodbye. This video is part of that. I've only told a couple of people online, and uh, I thought this would be a good way. So, I got a couple of videos that are decidedly filmed not very well. But 
There are ones that I had hanging around. I think I'm going to edit those. And then I'm going to record some new stuff and get on the horse again. So, uh, if you want to know about my daughter, I put a link to the uh, funeral home stuff in the uh, description. Um, I don't really want to answer a whole lot of questions about it. It's just, you know, it is what it is. Um, thanks for listening. And uh, see you soon. Bye.